most everybody knew that we had a lack of housing uh, on large lots. Uh, we didn't have anything for people that had the wherewithal to, do, to move to town, wanted to do the 250, 350, 450 uh, K homes. Uh, and then we had a lot of dilapidated and eyesore structures. The city of Redfield negotiated with the uh, owner of a salvage yard that uh, unfortunately uh, was now in the middle of town or on the, on the perimeter, as happens in a lot of small towns as they grow out. Grow out. And so that salvage yard was moved out of town. Uh, Gross Bank acquired the property as a square city block. We had it uh, platted. We used uh, DENR's uh, program called Brownfields. That entire square block now has six homes uh, complete and uh, four other homes right around there that never would have built had it not been for the salvage yard being gone. It's nice if you have 30 or 40,000 to start out with. Uh, just to acquire property, maybe take some of the, the take care of some of the financial and uh, um, title problems. Because you have to acquire property or you don't have anything to build on. And so we've been very aggressive in, in buying property, tearing it down or cleaning it up legally, financially, and physically. You need to partner. That's why we ended up with James Husby out of Aberdeen. He's built about uh, 50 to 100 of these and he came down here and we had, a, we had a good learning curve. We use as many local subs as possible, but the bid, the spec market is, you bid your work, uh, you earn it. First, uh, first couple of properties, we did it 100% on debt, but these aren't million dollar projects, they're 100 to $150,000 projects. You can find a lender that will work you, with you in a small town on that. It worked in Northville. Their mayor, Clayton Blatchford, is also on the Gross Bank board. He saw what we were doing uh, not only in Redfield, but we've spec'd homes in uh, Dolan, several. Uh, we've done two in Frankfurt. Their community is very aware that they're 20 miles from Aberdeen. It is a bedroom community, and those empty lots, he knows what it generates in taxes, um, city, city fees and stuff, and he says, let's try one up here. Don't get caught up in a small town doing housing development for the locals. Uh, that's not the right way to look at it. You have to look at it for the person that comes to town for a potential job. A uh, young person wants to stay there um, that has come back from college. We've gotten away from the income-based governor's homes and we're going to more traditional stick-built split levels ranches. Split levels we've been doing are, are younger people. One good example would be Spencer and Mary Whiff who bought our very first uh, split level up there. That was probably half done. Uh, he's uh, moved here to take a job with the pharmacy. His wife, I believe, is a PA uh, at the hospital here. Young professional family. Had trouble finding a house that would accommodate their needs. And uh, they bought that and they were wonderful to work with. Acquire a piece of property and do one. And then fumble or stumble your way through that and, and uh, learn from that and then do the next one and tweak your plan. The people moving back to small towns are, are rural by choice.